So the whole problem is that we have this belief that happiness comes from outside of us. And this is driven by our dopaminergic circuitry. So the nucleus accumbens has a craving. And when you satisfy the craving, you get dopamine. That feels like pleasure. So we go on chasing things that give us pleasure. The whole tragedy of life is that we develop tolerance. So your second burger is never going to be as good as your first one. So we develop tolerance. So chasing dopamine is never going to work because there's a fundamental biological constraint that will never allow it to function. If we look at enlightenment, I think that's more serotonergic, where there is a sense of contentment or peace that is internal and independent of getting things. And what we also know, this is what's really interesting, is that dopamine and serotonin are inversely related. So if I play video games all day, I will get dopamine but I'll feel terrible at the end of the day. I'll be like, oh my God, I'm so dumb. I like wasted my whole day. I should have been productive. And then if you like work really hard for like a day and you're like engaged with it and you did something good, like I remember I used to, you know, be on call for like 30 hours. You walk out and you feel you're tired. You're, you were angry at times. You were t like, you know, it was a negative experience, but you feel so good. That's serotonin.